to study more about Submarine Hoagie Hero Grinder Day. Hmm, the Earl of Sandwich. Meat between two pieces of bread. What a solution he came up with. Oh, goodness! I fell asleep and it's Foodie Friday! I just had the weirdest dream. It's National Submarine Sandwich Day and there was a scuba Pete and he was scuba diving for submarines? What? Oh, it was just a dream, right? Oh, hey there. I didn't see you. Hey, I was just uh, down searching for some uh, submarines in the little pond I've got back here and uh, couldn't find any, but being as it's National Submarine Sandwich Day, I was looking for my favorite thing, submarine sandwiches. Okay, so I'm going to make my favorite food, one of my favorite foods, a submarine sandwich. Uh, there's no wrong way to make a sandwich. You can put anything you want on there. You can put peanut butter and pickles. You can put uh, sardines and uh, salsa. Whatever you like to do. But I'm going to show you how I like to make a sandwich. First, I'm going to take this loaf of bread and I'm going to slice it in half. Have your parents help you with this part. As always, with a sharp knife, you don't want to cut yourself. Now, for some sliced tomatoes. And some white onion. I love onion. Brings out the flavor of everything it goes with. Even though sometimes it might make you cry. Some fresh crisp romaine lettuce for that crunch. And I don't know how many of you kids have ever seen one of these. But this is an avocado. And I'm going to cut it in half all the way around. Pop it open. Look at that. And then, easy way is to just cut through the avocado like that. And then with a spoon, you just spoon it out. Okay, we also have Swiss cheese, American cheese, ham, salami, and turkey. All my favorite foods in one. First, I'm going to take some mayonnaise, generously slather it on the bread, top and bottom. Mm -hmm. I do love mayonnaise. And then I'm going to put a little salt, just a little, and pepper, just to give it a little bit of pop. And then I'll put down my lettuce, my red juicy tomatoes. Make sure you spread it out so that you get a little bit in every bite. And then those onions. Depending on whether you like onions or not, you can put a little bit or a lot. And then I think I'll put down my cheeses next. I'll put one American, one Swiss. 
one American, one Swiss. American and a Swiss. And maybe I'll put a little banana peppers. all messy and now for the meats turkey Yum. yummy salami and delicious ham you want to spread that out so you got enough in each bite put the top on and there you go. A beautiful submarine sandwich that you could share with your family. I'm not going to share this one. This one's all mine. But you could cut this in pieces and share it with your mom and dad. It's delicious. Maybe this will become your favorite uh, snack time food for lunch. I don't know. But there you go. Have fun making your submarine sandwich. And as always, have fun with your food. And be sure to check out these books that I found at the Manlius Library. Sandwiches, more than you ever wanted to know about making and eating America's favorite food. Kids Cook, one, two, three, recipes for young chefs using only three ingredients. The official DC Superhero Cookbook, and it has 50 plus simple tasty recipes. Eat Fresh Food, awesome recipes for teen chefs. Kids Cooking, students prepare and eat foods from around the world. And finally, the Young Chef Recipes and Techniques for Kids Who Love to Cook. We hope you had fun again here at Foodie Friday. And be sure to check out these books and more at your Manlius Library. So that's a wrap for Foodie Friday. Submarine sandwiches. Sandwiches as a whole can be so much fun. From burgers to peanut butter and jelly to tuna to cucumber to veggie you pick what you would like basically put whatever you like in between two pieces of bread and voila you got a portable meal to go what a great idea so no matter how you spread it slice it or stack it it's always great to eat it